Hi, and welcome to this session. Uh, I'm Navindu, and I like listening to people's stories. I like hearing about their lives. I like hearing their journey through their careers. All of these help me a lot in my personal life and in my careers. So today I will talk about how the LFX mentorship program helped me start my career. And hopefully by the end of the session, whether you are a developer who is just starting out, starting out on their career or whether you are a seasoned developer looking to give something back to the community, I hope you learn something from my journey and uh, it can be helpful in your own lives. So let's get started. Uh, so a little bit about me. Uh, I'm a developer advocate at api7.ai and uh, I'm, I'm a contributor to the Apache API 6 uh, open source project. I was a CNCF maintainer. I formerly maintained uh, two CNCF projects. CNCF is the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. And I also mentor uh, mentor people through Google Summer of Code and of course the Linux Foundation Mentorship Program, which we are here uh, to talk about today. And uh, I'm, I'm from a small town uh, in Southern India. And uh, it's a town that is not known for its open source contribution, but more or less it's agriculture. So I'm, I'm, I come from a small town and uh, we'll see how, uh, how me coming from a, a really small town in India was able to make uh, open source contributions to some of the uh, top projects in the world. So in January, 2020, uh, I was a new programmer. Even though I learned programming back in high school, I wasn't uh, using programming. Uh, I wasn't actively a programmer. I wasn't a, a software engineer. I wasn't actively coding, uh, but I knew how to code. But in January, 2020, I decided to uh, start learning programming. So that is where my journey starts and by March 2021, I was able to be a full-time open source uh, contributor. Uh, I was working uh, as an open source contributor. I was getting paid. So that was my job. So within uh, this uh, uh, this time period, a little more than a year, I was able to uh, work in open source. So I will talk about that journey today and, uh, and hopefully that will... Uh, help you in your journeys as well. So before the LFX mentorship program, so definitely the LFX mentorship program was uh, impactful in my career, but uh, let's take the journey a little bit back and let's see where I was at before the LFX mentorship program. So like I mentioned in January 2020, I decided I want to work as a software engineer. So. I, I started learning programming. I started, I went through Udemy tutorials. I went through YouTube tutorials. Uh, I was learning programming. I was learning uh, web development. I was building building uh, toy apps and everything. So I pushed all these toy apps on my GitHub profile. Uh, people use people on the internet used to tell tell that uh, you need to create a portfolio for your projects. So. Even though they were toy projects, I published them on GitHub so that I could just add them as a line on my resume. I was, I was, I didn't have any experience as a software engineer, so, uh, uh, so pushing them to GitHub uh, made, made it so that I had some experience building actual projects. So I was pushing them on GitHub, and then one fine day, I pushed, I created my own project and I pushed it on GitHub. And with some time, it grew up to be uh, a popular open source project. Today, it has more than a thousand stars on GitHub. Uh, it has more than thousands of users. Uh, so it, the project grew and it, it became really popular. That was my first uh, introduction to open source and what it can provide. So I really enjoyed building the project. I I, I also enjoyed making it uh, free and open source so people can freely come in and use it. So the the excitement of building a project and the excitement of launching it for free for the public to use, it was quite a, quite a, it, 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 it was quite good. It felt very really good. So uh, 
so uh, after a couple of months uh, what happened was like i was really into open source i was really into uh, building uh, software that is open source so i was looking at different projects to contribute but uh, being relatively inexperienced it was still my first year of learning programming uh, so being relatively inexperienced and uh, like I, i was almost a, 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 i was almost a six months into not having a job so i had to pay the bills all sort of things so those things uh, held me back uh, so i i didn't know uh, if uh, this was a viable career option so there, there were a lot of problems uh, in deciding to work in open source full time so i was in a dilemma Uh, i'm built an open source project but i don't know how to contribute to open source projects i had a lot of uh, questions i i didn't know who to ask for answers i had a, uh, it, it was a real mess so um, so i i, I came uh, out of this experience uh, confused about open source and how all all those things work and i asked a lot of questions to myself so what project should i contribute to i had no idea i had i had a, a very broad skill set but i was relatively inexperienced in all of those skill sets so i i didn't i wasn't a master of any skill so i uh, and i didn't know a lot of open source projects i didn't know which project i can contribute to i don't know uh, if they will accept my contributions i don't know uh whether these projects were open source i don't i don't know what kind of skills they were looking for in their contributors all sort of things i i didn't know where i should start i didn't i, I didn't know which project i should contribute to and even if i found a project how do i start how do you go to a random project and understand their code base and start contributing to them where is the starting point so that was also another dilemma Uh, i had no idea where i should start i i i i, I was pretty sure uh, i lack the skills to contribute to an open source project uh, so no clue where to start and this uh, this question is often asked by every developer regardless of whether they are beginners or whether they are experts uh, i was wondering like i was i'm relatively inexperienced maybe open source is uh, reserved for people who are really skilled like uh, who, who who will use like uh, who will use uh, a software written, written by uh, a, a near a programmer with a near experience right so these kind of questions were in my mind and these kind of questions uh, uh for these kind of questions i couldn't find answers on the internet and that is when uh and Uh, and with with all of these questions combined like uh, how i should get skilled how i should uh, how i should start what project i should look into the the burning question in my back of my mind was uh, how can this help my career because uh, i was out of a job uh, i uh, i i didn't know that open source was a sustainable career i i thought i thought open source would be a stepping stone maybe i can contribute to Uh, open source projects maybe that will help me in in my, in my resume and maybe that could help me get jobs uh, but i wasn't also sure whether this would happen uh, like no people were talking about uh, open source helping their career uh, and times have changed in the last two years and there are definitely uh, more people talking about open source contributions but back then like uh, there was also a question of discoverability people who were talking about us open source weren't discovered as much so i had a lot of questions uh, and i was wondering whether this would help my career and that is when i discovered the lfx mentorship program uh, linux foundation uh, is quite uh, popular like uh, we we were uh, i was familiar with the linux the next project uh, i have been using linux for a long time and i knew that there was a linux foundation and that is when i discovered the linux foundation mentorship program so uh my thought process was like okay i can contribute to an open source project there will be a mentor assigned to me he will help me make uh, contributions and i will also get paid 
for my contributions. So I can justify spending uh, three months on this program, uh, writing code for an open source project, because at the end I will get paid a stable stipend. And of course, like I can, I, uh, of course, an experience in a, in a real world project can help me land better jobs. But little did I know that this would end up being my career. So in the LFX mentorship program, uh, 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 in late 2020, I discovered this program and I was, the first thing that uh, this program helped me do uh, was uh, discover projects. So the, the screenshot below is from my Linux Foundation LFX men, men, mentorship profile. So I applied to a couple of projects and eventually I found a project that liked me the same way I liked them. And I applied to it. And as you can see, I'm a, a LFX, a, a graduated LFX mentee. So uh, this is the Meshery project. So Meshery was one of the popular project at that time. And it, it is, I think it, it still is. It, it is one of the most popular uh, LFX projects, a lot of people apply to that program. But uh, uh, what intrigued me was uh, the project and its community. So the LFX portal, uh, the LFX mentorship portal, what is what it did for me was it, it gave me access to a lot of projects. So I knew these projects were expecting contributions from people like me. And by people like me, I mean people who are relatively inexperienced, people who are just starting out their open source journeys, people who are just starting uh, start, starting to learn programming, those kind of people. So uh, I, I was able to discover a lot of these projects and uh, 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 the, 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 the portal showed what the requirements of the project was. So uh, when I looked into the Meshery project, uh, it showed uh, the requirements were the stuff I, that I that I was learning. I was learning a lot of cloud stuff back then, Docker, Kubernetes, that sort of thing. And the project was also using those technologies. So, yeah, it, like I thought, oh, maybe maybe this this might end up well. Maybe I I do have a shot at this internship position, and I joined the project's community. So that is when. Uh, the things changed because uh, 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 the project's community was uh, really cool. I really enjoyed the project uh, project's community. They really made me feel part of themselves. And uh, and after joining the project community, I started small. So starting small was uh, quite imp important because uh, at that point I was quite overwhelmed. And uh, at this point, I, was, I wasn't I was a mentee at this point. Uh, this was before I got into the LFX mentorship program at this project. I was just a passive observer for a long time. Then I started contributing to, contributing, contributing to the project. I started contributing code. And uh, within, it took me like uh, two months, two, two, or maybe two and a half months to learn what I was supposed to do to observe and understand what they are trying to do. And I started by making small bug fixes that maybe like took four lines of code changes. And then I eventually worked my way up and uh, eventually started owning certain areas of the project. And all, during this, or during all this time, the community was really welcoming. They were helping me make contributions, even though I wasn't a mentee or even though I wasn't part of any program, they were warm and welcoming. There were a lot of uh, maintainers who were willing to help me out. There were people uh, uh, offering help, a lot of things. So the community was really welcoming. And they helped me uh, a lot in making these first contributions. So, uh, I had some pe I had some people like they, they they even thought taught me basic stuff like okay this is how you build the project this is where we are you are going wrong okay this is the error so all, all those sort of things uh, the community kind of uh, handheld me and they took me took me through my first steps uh, with my first open source contributions 
and uh, within some time so within after this two and a half month period i was making an impact i was make, my contributions were progressively getting bigger i was spending a lot more time actually contributing to this project i was devoting a lot of mo- lot of my time uh, contributing to this project and with this uh, uh, with this contributions uh, like the com- after the community and the maintainers recognized us okay i was a good contributor and i had the potential to uh, make good contributions to the project my uh, applications application to become a linux foundation mentee on the machinery project was accepted in march 2021 they knew i ca- i can get the job done my proposal was good and uh, uh since i all uh, since i already showed that i can contribute to the project uh, i was selected so this was uh, life changing for me because uh till that point i didn't make any money from open source but from then i was so I, will, i will start to make money from open source and i also get get in a, a get a position so it is it is essentially an internship position with the, with the machinery project uh i am contributing to the project and uh, that is my work so my job is to contribute to an open source project which was uh, really fun because i i i i don't know anyone who 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 does this for a living who contributes to open source projects for a living so it was a surreal experience uh, people around me like they they didn't know what to make of it like they didn't know the meaning of uh, uh, contributing to open source or anything but uh, they were just happy for me that i got a, a a job that i wanted so i was i i was learning uh, so i learned a lot and i, I was contributing to open source and i was in lfx 20s so it was really fun and i learned a lot during my period as a, 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 as an lfx 20 uh, so the mentorship program actually like when i say it is life changing i uh, uh, i'm not uh, uh, overstating the the impact it had on my life like it was really life changing from that point uh, from the like the it really changed my career and it really put me on uh, this path and like i really enjoy what i'm doing now mm-hmm. so i learned a lot as uh, as an lfx mentee i i learned the skills so i learned the skills i needed to be to work on cloud i i learned programming in go i learned a lot of a uh, lot about uh, the cloud architectures cloud infrastructure uh, uh networking all sort of things so i i got a lot of skills as an engineer uh, my m- mentor was helping me a lot there were other maintainers in the project who have who also helped me a lot and they they helped me become a better engineer like when i was a uh, so i i was also able to apply the skills i learned right i learned programming but i haven't actually applied the programming to a, a, a real world project i haven't worked in a company or i haven't used my code to build uh, actual uh, actual products before so being part of the the community being part of this project i was able to use my code to build real world projects so it gave me an exposure into software engineering it gave me exposure into how things are done in the industry and uh, this uh, lfx mentorship program being uh, online and uh, being uh, a, a remote job i was able to meet a lot of people from different countries i was able to work with a lot of people in different countries and this improved my speaking skills like a uh, i'm more comfortable talking in english uh, uh after uh, after the program so uh, this helped me uh, a lot and with things being async and with things uh, being distributed i mean people were working from different parts of the world and they were in different time zones most of our communication was in written format so i was able to uh, learn uh, learn and uh, improve my writing improve my technical writing improve improve how, how i documented new features improve how i documented new proposals all sort of things so my technical writing was uh, completely improved uh, i i didn't know anything about that but the process set by the the project uh, before it helped me a lot so i was able to learn all sort of things i was able to uh, improve in communication
and after the program like uh, i spent all of my time contributing open source code to the project so uh, once you start contributing to a project um, you will quickly gain the confidence because when you start looking start uh, when you think about the time you started contributing to a project uh, you, you you are most likely to be uh, uh, overwhelmed by the code or overwhelmed by the size of the code uh, you you won't understand what the issues are about and uh, all sort of things so uh, f coming from that point uh, to completing the lfx mentorship i was co actively contributing to code i could understand the code base i could understand uh, uh, how everything works so it it also gave, it also helped helped with my confidence so i was more confident in contributing to the project i was more confident about my skills i was more contributed in uh, more confident in contributing to open source projects and uh, during this time i was also exposed to a lot of open source communities uh, within the linux foundation itself uh, so within the cloud cloud native computing foundation i was part of a lot of open source communities i was part of uh, 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 tag groups uh, technical advisory groups so uh, I did a lot of community stuff around well. I met a lot of people who are working on open source stuff. And I realized that there are more people like me. There are more people passionate about uh, writing open source code. There are more people, uh, there there are people making money by contributing to, contributing to open source code. And that made me realize that uh, uh, working in open source is definitely a career option. There are a lot of people working in open source as their career. Uh, there are a lot of ways they 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 make sustainable income uh, in contributing to open source. And it seemed to me that these people are have were having a lot of fun fun. And I thought maybe I can I can be I can make open source my career as well. So I completed my LFX mentorship program. Now and what I did was I came back to the program as a mentor. And this was also life-changing for me. This also helped me uh, do a lot of stuff. So the, the journey continues uh, in the section. So I completed my LFX mentorship program. And here we are. So uh, after the program, uh, I, had, I had been been working for the project almost close to half a year. So within half a year, I gained a lot of experience in the project and I was uh, trusted to be a maintainer. And the company that uh, that built the open source project, they actually offered me a job. So uh, that was really good because somebody wanted to pay me to work in open source and I got a job. So, uh, so it was like a, a, a dream come true. Uh, a, a year ago, I didn't know this job existed, but uh, at, at, at that point of time, I was really happy, really excited uh, to uh, to work on an open source project as my job. And uh, uh, since I was a maintainer, I was uh, I was doing a lot of open source stuff. I, I eventually gained a lot more confidence in the project. I was uh, I had a lot of high level idea about how all things worked. I was making uh, decisions. Uh, uh, I was helping with the decisions uh, that affected the product and everything. And uh, I was doing open source search stuff full time. And that is when uh, I realized the, the core motto of open source, which is open source or maybe open source contributions, which is to pay it forward. So this, this, can, this is definitely applicable to life as well, but in the in context of open source contributions, uh, by paid forward, I mean that uh, people help me make my first contribution. People help me uh, get a career in open source. So I should definitely pay it forward. I should definitely help someone uh, who are starting out to uh, make a career in open source, uh, maybe do a mentorship in open source, help them contribute to open source. So that's when I decided to start mentoring. So. Uh, uh, I applied to be a mentor for the same Meshery project uh, and another project in the CNCF. So I started mentoring through the LFX mentorship program. So 
uh, screenshot below shows the two projects uh, in which uh, I was a mentor. And uh, even after this project, I was able to, even after this program, I was able to mentor some people as well. But uh, uh, this program uh, helped me when I was a mentee. Now it is time to help me to help, it is time for me to help others uh, get on the same path, help them, uh, mentor them and help them uh, like someone else helped me. So uh, I'll talk about my experience as an LFX mentor. Uh, and definitely I, I learned a lot of stuff as a mentor. And the first thing I learned was that I love sh sharing knowledge. So I love, I love, uh, uh, I love teaching people what I know. I love sharing uh, what I know. I love I love writing. I love talking to people about uh, uh, technical stuff, uh, all sort of things. So being part of this program, uh, uh, I was working with a mentee, so I I had to help him. I had to share my knowledge uh, knowledge to them. So uh, this made me realize like I really enjoy this process of uh, helping others, uh, uh, sharing what I know. So that was a, a great opportunity for the self-realization. I also learned that there are no uh, trivial questions. So when I was a mentee, I used to ask a lot of, uh, lot of stupid, a lot of uh, trivial sounding questions. But when I became a mentor, I realized quickly that uh, people who ask such easy and such trivial questions are the people who learn things faster. So by helping out, by by helping out these mentees they used to ask a lot of questions and uh, by helping them out uh, i i realized this fact as well and i also learned a, a lot by teaching so if you have to teach something to someone you need to have an in-depth understanding of the thing yourself so this made me uh, so that is how I when I, so when I tried to articulate uh, technical things to the mentees, uh, I was able to uh, solidify my understanding of the technique as well. So teaching helped me uh, learn a lot, and this is like a, a well-known principle in studying. So, but uh, this definitely helped in helped me in real life as well. I was uh, I was learning a lot. I learned a lot more about our project. And this also helped me a lot. And uh, I developed leadership skills and being a mentor also opened me up to a whole new set of career opportunities. So I was a new programmer in January, 2020. And I worked, I, I started working in open source full time uh, in March, 2021. And definitely the Linux Foundation mentorship program was the catalyst. So, as the catalyst, what the program did was it helped me discover open source project. Uh, so from someone who is coming from uh, uh, this part of the world, that is uh, where like these kind of opportunities, these kind of uh, projects are not uh, discoverable. Like we don't have people talking about open source stuff uh, where, where I live. So this program was, uh, provided me with the ability to discover these open source projects. So I'm just a guy uh, with an internet connection and a computer. So I was able to discover uh, the, uh, a lot of these projects and these projects were really good. And uh, definitely like uh, this program enabled me to do that. It also connected me to mentors from around the world. So definitely like there are a lot of people uh, a lot of people, especially students in the world, where they don't get access to such mentorships, where they don't get access to such opportunities. And uh, what this program did was, uh, it helped us find these projects and it also helped us uh, by connecting us to the mentors. So these mentors could be on the opposite side of the earth uh, with you, but they're here to help you out. You can, you can ask them questions, they're here to help you out. And this is not something that is, uh, that is uh, trivial when it comes to uh, uh, some countries, when it comes to people, uh, people who, who, who are from such, uh, such countries, right? So 
this program definitely enabled uh, people uh, enabled me to connect to such mentors find such mentors even though they are they aren't from uh, they aren't from our part of the world it 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 also gave me the same opportunity as someone uh, someone like li- living in 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 much uh, let's say a, a, a much uh, tech friendly environment right it also provided me a staple a stipend so i was out of my out of a job for a long time and i had to quickly find uh, some job before i i blew through my savings uh, trying to shift career trying to switch careers so the program provided a stable stipend and throughout this program uh, i didn't have to worry about uh, uh, worry about money so i was able to contribute to open source and i was uh, able to get a stipend uh, uh, get paid for my work so that is definitely something that that does not happen uh, in open source projects regularly most people spend their free time most people spend their uh, free time and effort and sometimes money to build open source projects and in in turn they don't get back anything but uh, this can be quite difficult for people who are in their early stage of their career they need money they are just starting to make money so uh, they need some way to support their career they need to make make it sustainable so this program provides a stable provided a stable stipend and uh, which uh, which gave me a lot of room to think just about the open source project just about my work and it create and from with with all this what the program enables is it creates a lot of opportunity from people for people around the world regardless of where you are from regardless of what your background is uh, the the only thing you need to have is the will to learn is the will to contribute will this the will to work on such open source projects and all you need is uh, a, a computer and an internet connection and you can work with people from all over the world uh, within your living room so that 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 level of opportunities that level of enablement is what makes this program such a success and uh, and uh, from uh, my experience in the last two years i see a lot of people like me i, I see a lot of people uh, uh, from places that are uh, that are a lot that are a lot disadvantaged than than my situation they they were they are coming up and they are making uh, they are taking part of this program and they are they are changing their lives so those that kind of enablement is what uh, what the lfx does how that is how the program catal- program acts as a catalyst in in all of these different uh, people's careers and it is definitely and and i would definitely say like uh, for people transitioning looking to transition into working on open source i would definitely say like uh, this program can be a path it can be the, a part of a path for a career in open source and there is always a uh, but i didn't want to in in my presentation this way but like uh, with all these highs like there there are some there are some warnings there are some things that you need to be aware of it is not all green fields uh you have to take time to let things work uh i spent a lot of time uh contributing the project for free i spent a lot of my uh free time contributing to open source projects uh at, the, at that point of time i didn't think like i oh, i am doing free work or anything but like it took it took a lot of time for me to reach a point where i was accepted as an lfx mentee uh, it took a lot of time to learn the stuff that i needed to contribute it took a lot of time to become a maintainer and it took a lot of time to reach a point where i can help other people to contribute as well so all things take time and there are no shortcuts for hard work uh, so the the program is uh, requires you to work hard the program requires you to learn a lot of stuff uh, the, there are a lot of people who are applying to this program and some just apply for the sake of it some some really work hard to uh, contribute to the project some really work hard to uh, learn stuff and some really put a lot of effort in their proposal so there are no shortcuts for hard work and uh, people who put in the work definitely get the get the rewards of the uh, reap the rewards uh, of their work 
and you are uh, and while contributing to open source you are pushing your code on a public repository where anyone in this world can literally see your code so that opens up a lot of room for uh, imposter syndrome to uh, step in so this is quite natural like a lot of people experience it uh, even if they are experts in programming people experience this so there is definitely that that uh, that uh, The, the, there is definitely an impact uh, impact from it uh, while contributing to open source so the important thing is to recognize that and realize that everyone faces that issue and it is also important to uh, realize that open source is about community community and as the apache foundation motto says uh, open source is uh, community over code so it is more about the project's community it is more about uh, the people this is more about uh, the environment that the uh, open source project is being built upon more than the actual code more than the actual technical stuff itself that is also something to remember and with that uh, i end my talk and i open the floor for questions if you have them uh, please ask them and if not uh, or if you are uh, if you have questions uh, sometime in the future like or if you want to reach out to me about open source stuff you can hit me up on twitter uh, i i talk a lot about open source stuff there as well so you can hit me up there and i will try to uh, reply re reply back to you and uh, yeah that's it uh, and i hope you enjoy the session